Welcome on location with the Texas Nerd House, y'all. Now, if you haven't seen the first video in our Honey Pots and Storehouses series, I highly recommend you check it out so that you can find out exactly how and why we're doing this series. Then I want to remind you that if you come to Texas, try to visit these places, it may or may not be possible that you'll actually find what you see in these videos. Chances are the exact items are long gone. They've been picked over, but it's possible you may find something similar to them anyway. And you're gonna find a lot of interesting stuff as we see in this video coming up, especially for those of you keyboard folks. So, hope you enjoy, stay tuned. card or something on that? Yeah, I'm not sure. It looks like it's a Samsung something. Something or other. Alright, let's see if we can just lift a second. I have a three monitor if this thing focus. Come yeah, on, it's, a, it's a card. Oh wow. Okay. I don't know what for. Some kind of IBM PC. Oh my gosh. The Apple 2C monitor, I guess. Keyboards, yep. The original power PC. Oh, holy moly, yeah, for sure. And then what else? There's some really. <laughs> Osborne, hmm. Uh, yeah. And the Old time GE type. Man, so many original Apple II. Uh, see monitors and setup. There's the monitor, there's the base. Uh, oh my gosh. <laughs> I think like mine. Okay, let's see that one. Here's the Apple IIe back there, it looks like. The AT&T 6300 something or other. It's hard to tell, of course, like the stuff in the boxes. The boxes probably don't indicate what's actually in the thing. Yeah, let's I see. I have no idea what a CompuDyne 101 thing is. Yeah, this is Tactile where I... Tactile click. I don't know if I want to be the person that unseals it. I wonder if it's any good. Big ass enter. Compu add. Hmm, I might take a look at it though. Look at that though, the palm <laughs> tops. Oh cool, yeah. This is where I picked that IBM laptop printer combo thing from. Commodore power supplies. Oh geez. Would you trust it? <laughs> I don't trust any of them. Um, desk drives are not bad, but uh... You're aware of the thing? This is an IBM Model F. <laughs> yes it is. Okay, put this off right. on the sides. Oh my gosh, one of those gray ones. The gray, mm. even if it's bad, it's it's so fixable. And it's worth it because the case is actually in pretty good shape. Nice, right, set go. that out. That's, that's crazy. Cool. Um, it's a kind of crazy thing. There's so many monitors. I don't even know what this rack mount thing is. But... Yeah, sure enough, the tiny IBM. It's kind of funny. Tiny IBM monitor. Yep. There's another Keepro back there. I don't know if I need more Keepros in my life. <laughs> yeah, I think I got pretty much all the kinds. I have all the kinds. But it looks, that looks like something kind of interesting on the really far back shelf that looks like a lampshade was also there from the 70s. I don't think that has worked in quite some time. I think it's more impressive than anything else is somebody brought all this up here, up those stairs, every one of these things. That's kind of crazy and impressive and it looks like... That's Timex Sinclair 1000. It's actually in there. That's actually in there. I 
here we go. The, the Prince ZX. Now I'm kind of interested in this thing because it looks like, I don't know, it's like the sign for the Oh, no, 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 no. Glove. I know exactly what that is. That is a uh, scanner. So it's oh, a barcode geez. scanner. Um, and it was popular kind of right before the like the true boom. I actually had one of these. I had bought it on like the very earliest form of eBay. Dang. Um, just because it was a barcode scanner, it could be used in a bunch of weird ways, but mm. uh, it doesn't really have any uses. Now this thing, a snappy thing, I used to have one of these. I actually think I still probably do at mom's house, got it for Christmas. A video snapshot. That was so cool. It came with Gryphon's Power Morph, or, uh, or Gryphon Morph and Kai's Power Goo. <laughs> Like well, making funny effects of videos. Word. Music workstation slash sampler right here. Wow. Dang. The Korg Triton. That's that's legit, right? Yep. Or a <laughs> it's just a piece of foam. For your typewriter. For your typewriter. Because <laughs> it didn't have risers. <laughs> Couple super old, like all in one kind of terminals up here, I guess. Yep. Back there. Looks like there's one of the old time Model F style things, maybe with the function keys on the left. I don't even know what this Victor thing is I see over here. Like, yeah, it looks is like it a, a copy, like an Apple II copy or something. A huge floppy disk thing. This is purely flashlight power. Oh, the Commodore 1084. Jeez, that's kind of neat. That's super uncommon. Well, if you think I should, it'd be cool. I have no idea if it works. Yeah, that's the question. Although it looks like, you know, the door is in, it's there. Probably just need some work, but... Yeah, we know people that work on monitors. This is a strange thing. This has got to be some video console. Yeah, I would imagine it looks very video-y. <laughs> yes, it does. Just a brief interlude to tell you that this is actually an HP 98203B keyboard. It goes along with the HP 9000 workstations. Just thought you might like to know, and now let's get back to the video. I wonder if it's got any ID on the back. It doesn't. Checked. Okay. Just I was there. like thinking it looks <clears throat> kind of similar to some stuff from Sony back in the day, but like very early. I don't even know what this giant tank is. This tank that's like on top of things. It's a PS One. Jeez. Oh look. Need one of I already one of those. I, I pulled that out. Yeah, for sure. We already know where these things are, so like whatevs. Right. Um. I don't even know what this is, but that <laughs> probably is not our, our alley anyway. This is weird. I wonder what the heck that thing would be. Okay, so yeah, these are all first and second generation, those two. As long as it's not a blue badge, it's the... I think this is the oldest one, honestly. I would imagine so. With the, in, the other one, the gray badge, I don't know. It's one of these. That looks... Doesn't sound like it feels nice, though. No, it doesn't, but it's weird. What the hell is this, too? IBM 5086 processor. Hmm. That's a weird number. But it's got, like, a super old style. But it feels like it's rubber keys. Yeah. Yeah, more than a couple of them. But these were being made at the same time as Model M's. Yep. The badges are the same. And I guess here's an enhanced keyboard. Yeah, I saw the another one over there that had like some missing keys. I don't know, I don't think I have the OG badge. Mm-hmm. No, well, it's got one missing. Top. Oh, piece. the escape key, huh? But... Well... I can maybe find you the remedy for that. Oh, like, oh. right off of that. Mm -hmm. I don't know if I would do that, though, but... No. 
Yeah, you can definitely tell the difference. Feel the feel the weight. I'm gonna hold this. No, you you hold, <laughs> hold it with your hand. Okay, feel the weight of that one. All right, let's set that down for a moment somewhere that's safe ish. Okay, now what I want you to do is hold this one. <laughs> It's got quite a bit more heft. It is. This is first gen. First generation IBM Model M. Crazy thick. Yeah. That'll Strange. put some that's some heft in your step for sure. Compact Model F clone. Ugh, feels like garbage. Yeah. Because it is garbage. Not really, but we're going to just say that. I don't even know what this is. That's just Rotter a down. regular IBM from the mid '90s, or late '90s. Yeah. Yeah. And then Packard bells underneath. Mm-hmm. But uh, and some sort of IBM like that looks like it's a disc holder for large discs. This is a very slimline keyboard. <laughs> a ton of mice. If there's any serial mice in there that could be useful. I don't think so. I think that's just... Yep, that's oh, exactly what geez. I thought. These are 8 inch floppies. IBM holder for 8 inch floppies. It's Mondo. <laughs> U.S. government. We have found where you can actually get some 8 inch floppies. Yep, look at that. <laughs> single side, single density. <laughs> 128 bytes. That's that's interesting. Especially yeah. in the IBM container. Right. We've got like a mix of 90 stuff in here too. I kinda wanna get the big gray badge, because I don't have one that's like this crazy old heavy thing. But I'm looking for Model Fs. That's what I'm looking for today. Did find the Model F Kish Saver numpad. That was crazy. That's that's a really hard to find thing. They do not come up at all. Folks, this is only the tip of the iceberg. There's still an hour and a half of raw footage to edit down and condense just to show you what we found during a single day's worth of digging here. Stay tuned for more Honeypots and Storehouses videos, plus a feature on all the IBM keyboards we uncovered just now, not to mention our regular features on old computers, home consoles, and pinball. Bye, y'all!